Hello everyone, it's me, a Sharpie Puss Potato, or Sharpie Puss Productions, whichever you prefer. Um, there's my new splash screen, hope everyone likes it. Just whacked it together. I thought it better reflects the Sharpie Puss Productions. But anyway, that's not where, why we're here today. We're here to play a little bit of uh, Path of Exile. Ooh. We're on to... Um, Act 5 now, and um, also before I begin, uh, I just wanted to uh, have a look at my last video because um, I just wanted to give a shout out to some peeps who uh, offered some awesome comments. So I'm um, just whacking it up over here. Sorry, I'm going off screen a bit. So um, clip, uh, click bait rater um gave me some feedback and basically said that since i'm running uh, absolution uh instead of lightning damage i should uh I'll, I'll be better off using physical to lightning damage so we've taken that into consideration and i shall be using that so we've uh, we've switched uh switched that around so i can show you now actually so um here we've got uh where is it absolution minion damage physical to lightning so i've replaced my lightning support with physical to lightning and we've got spell echo um we also need um i think we need something else on that eventually but i'm not sure at the moment uh when we get some more items with more sockets we can add more stuff uh, Flame Dash, we got, we're still running Herald of Purity with Defiance Banner. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to all the people so far who have liked my video because uh, I had a lot of views on that last video compared to previous ones. So uh, Clickbait Trader, thanks for the suggestions and feedback there. That was much appreciated. Um, a a o e a yo. <laughs> a yogi dragon i believe i'm sorry if i'm butchering your name um but uh, they also told me that if i do the library quest um that i will be able to buy any gem i need so that will be good because i think i probably need a gem of some sort for this build but i don't know it at the moment so appreciate that uh then black 71 uh or bletch 71 um said that i should look into uh crafting gazzy's helm uh or gahazi's helm for the build uh and that it will do crazy stupid godly unethical damage so i like the sounds of that um shane uh he herring i believe yeah he he said it's a bit too early for me to be using that but uh anyway appreciate it so uh, you know, we'll get there maybe, hopefully, if we don't die. So that's good. Um, and then, let's see, who else have we got? Uh, Chad, NTM, you're enjoying it uh, as it is because what you're playing is a buff version. So I think my build is uh, like a buff version at the moment. So that's maybe why I'm enjoying it so much. And then we had uh, 101 No Barcode who said, I subscribed to a potato. And I appreciate that, so thank you. Um, and that's all the comments we had. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to you guys because uh, much appreciated. Okay, so um, let's see. I can't even remember how... It's been a while since I played this, honestly, because uh, last week I didn't touch Path of so at all. But um, yeah, uh, I'm just trying to figure out where we were. Travel to the Chamber of Innocence. Okay. Uh, gosh, I'm I'm so out of it. I just can't remember anything. Where's Chamber of Innocence exactly? Control blocks. Uh, control blocks. Chamb Chamber of Innocence. Okay. But then, okay. I don't like the sound of this because it's called the Ravenous God, and that makes me feel like I'm gonna suddenly fight a boss and. I haven't warmed up, so maybe I should warm up. What in damnation have you done? Oh gosh, what have I done? 
You've destroyed him, and yet I hear the voice of innocence, begging for our forgiveness, asking for our help, you and I. I heard him the moment the High Templar fell, whispering inside my damned skull, his heart. Okay, don't have time to listen to all that, I'm afraid, my, my dude. Uh, the Torch Courts, is this where I go? I guess, I can't see anywhere else, so let's give it a go. Okay, Ooh, everything's on fire. Okay, lots of chess in here. Okay, I'm not going to go too fast at the beginning just because... Oh, I, I honestly, I can't even remember what I'm doing at the moment, so I need to get back into it. And we're also, uh, or I'm also going to have to level up... Um, What's it called? Oh god. Damage is quite quite high. Um, I'm gonna have to level up that physical to lightning damage skill because I haven't leveled it up at all yet. So yeah. Okay. But uh yeah, I haven't honestly been playing much this week at all because uh I had uh had a lot of work to do to be honest and uh Bit of overtime and whatnot, so just you know, catching everything up. Quartz flask. Have we had a quartz flask yet? Ten percent chance to suppress spell damage. That might be good, rather than the skunk one, maybe. Because spell damage, I think, is doing the most damage to us. So we might might try this instead of the skunk. Then again, that stun might be good. I'll, I'll look into that. I'm not sure if I should swap, to be honest. But we'll, we'll find out. Okay. But, uh, yeah. I'm hoping to get back into half a bit this week, uh, to be honest. Because, yeah, I had a little break from it. But, you know, the video reception was, like, you know, much, much better than I thought. I didn't expect to have so many views on, well... A potato talking about Path of Exile, but uh, maybe it's because I went off on a bit of a rant last time and I started, you know, ranting about Blizzard and Diablo and everything like that, but yeah. Uh, but still. Uh, I mean, everything I said in the last video still stands, you know. I've, uh, I'm still following the Path of Exile news. And it does seem like a lot of uh, big streamers are stopping playing it. And uh, even like the, uh, I, I can't recall the, the geezer's name, but um, he, he does like all the builds. And he's probably, when you search like on YouTube for Path of Excel builds, he's always the guy who pops up. Uh, you probably know who I'm talking about, but uh, I saw even he is taking a break. And uh, from what I could see in his videos, he is, oh sugar he is uh, not one for taking breaks usually what is that okay Ooh, that one's got lots of sockets on it um so yeah it, it still seems like people are unhappy to be honest which isn't great but um yeah it, it just kind of it seems like people aren't necessarily unhappy with like uh Chris Wilson, who's like the uh, the lead dev, it's kind of more disappointment in that there wasn't enough communication or explanation as to why things were nerfed, like the loot nerf and stuff like that. That's from what I can understand it, and um, the Reddit seems to be saying that they. That they should like plan more time to test or implement or develop ideas rather than just rush leagues because you know at the end of the day it's probably quite hard to you know think of all these new ideas for leagues to be honest in an action RPG because you know they've done a lot of really really cool ideas so far in this game that you know if you look at Diablo and other games they haven't really managed to do anything like that comes even close to being as fun as this. So, uh, I do kind of feel for the devs. I think they have got a hard job on their hand to 
keep coming up with new ideas. And maybe this is why, you know, maybe Lake of Calandra, I think is... Personally, I think Lake of Calandra is a good idea. I like the mechanics of it and stuff, but I just think they maybe... It was pushed out too fast without proper testing or without proper explanations on why things change, so to say. So, yeah, well, but we'll see what happens. I honestly, like, from listening to the lead developer, he seems like a genuinely good, de like, decent guy who, like, re he, you can tell he's passionate about the game and he's not just, you know, giving you uh business jargon speech like oh you know we hear you or you know uh you know your your voice matters uh and then just ignores it but it generally feels like he cares about the game and its direction so i think probably if anything he's just disappointed in the way it's been received to be honest so i i kind of have faith that hopefully hopefully we'll see some good news for uh, for the game and that it's hopefully not just a, a lost cause because I, I really don't see them just ignoring this and you know just being like oh you know deal with it or just ignoring it in general and not replying at all right I, th I think we'll see some good changes hopefully I have faith put your faith in the light <laughs> This is, uh, I, I gotta say, like, already the damage, this physical to lightning, does already seem like it's dishing out a decent amount of damage, to be fair. Okay, this is where I need to go. Oh, this place looks cool. Ooh, it even lights up as you go near it. This reminds me a bit of uh, Diablo 3, this, with all the, kind of, or Diablo 2, it's like, you know, lots of gothic kind of skulls and everything like that. Feels feels good, man. Like it. Okay, what's this? There's something glowing here. Oh, I have not seen this before. For Voltaxic sulfite chest, okay. Not sure what this is. Oh, what's that? Another good find. Oh, it's that geezer. So, with this guy, <coughs> for those of you who don't know, what is this huge banner I've got? I don't even remember equipping that. Um, this geezer is like a, a miner, and in one of the leagues, he was. Um, it's like you were in a mine shaft, and you needed to like push a mine cart around. And he would come and collect this stuff. But I didn't know that he was still part of the game. I thought that was just like a seasonal thing. So it seems like he's still in it. Which is cool. That's cool, man. Um, okay, what am I looking for here? Oh, there's one more stash apparently I've got to find. Ooh, there's a... Oh, I leveled up, I think. Yeah, I did. So just clear these and then put our next point in. Uh, I think we we were down here last time. We're here. Let me just see. So I think we want that. Uh, Temporary increase maximum life. Yes, we do want that. And then from here, we will go this way. Okay. I need more mana. So we need to find those. Um, yes. Oh, look at these like, ghosts, kind of thing. Hallowed mana flask. Also, oh, sorry. I'm just gonna. Uh, wearing a hoodie at the moment. I'm just taking that off because it's freaking. It, the weather's a bit weird lately. It's like one minute it's cold and then it's hot. 
but playing Path of Exile makes me a bit toasty. This. Sign of Purity. Okay. Lever? Or lever? Whichever you prefer. Crafting recipe. Oh, there was someone called Sin there. One second. An empire is nothing more than a standard pitched in the naked earth. The time has come cool. for you to raise the standard upon the peak of false faith, the apex of Chitter's Cathedral. Drive it. Okay. Sorry, Sim, but we've got no time to listen to you right now. But with that said, we do need to find that uh, sulfite deposit. Maybe this way. Let's go. Ah, oh, there it is. Find XR. XR. I do like the way that a lot of these uh, characters have like uh, varied British accents as well. It's uh, it's nice that they've. Uh, I don't know. I always appreciate a game with uh, British actors as well in it. Like with those, uh, you know, different British accents within it, because uh, there's not many games like that, I don't think, like, not off the top of my head, apart from obviously the ones that are set in the UK, for example, but like Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate, was it? I think that was the one, that was a good one, actually, I like that. Cool, going around London as an assassin with your, your or was it, um, no, it wasn't Birmingham, it was London, yeah, because I remember you could scale Big Ben, I think. I think so, anyway. Maybe I'm making that up. I can't remember. It's been years since I played that, to be honest. I'm um, on Assassin's Creed. I'm up to Origins at the moment. I've always played them in order. I've never skipped any. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I got to orange it, uh, Oranges. I got to Origins. Not Oranges. Uh... And it's uh, it's a really good one actually. I like it just because it's uh, the Egyptian vibe. I really, really like uh, the whole like Egyptian lore and everything like that. I think it's uh, like really cool. I was always interested in Egypt and also uh, like uh, Rome as well as a kid. Uh, I used to love um, like all these uh, mythical creatures, you know, like the Minotaur and Medusa and all this. I used to love that stuff. Too much clutter. Um, here we go. Let's just move this about so I can take that bow as well. I don't know why I'm collecting all these items, but yeah, still. Um, is that it? I think I've been here. I've explored everywhere, so what, we go back, maybe? Let's have a look. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm on to Assassin's Creed Origins and uh, it's good, but it's it's a long game because it's uh, it's very much like an RPG, like a not previous. I mean, Assassin's Creed have been going that way lately. That you know they're turning more and more into RPGs. Uh, the natural. I'm gonna just sell most of these unless they're useful. That one might be useful if I redo the the thingy majiggers sockets on it so we might keep that one but uh i don't mind about the assassin's creed going that route like i still enjoy them but it just means that usually i lose my focus on them like i think with a lot of rpgs i tend to lose focus i'm just going to sell some of these and put this in um remember we do this for freedom okay let's put all this stuff in oh, what was that i just put something in my inventory but i don't actually know what it was it looked important like a quest item where has it gone oh my god what was that item i just put in did it go in here or did it go currency oh it was a currency item en enkindling orb adds an enchantment to a utility flask oh okay but will it prevent it from gaining charges during the effect? Okay. So I'm not too sure about that. Uh, 
delete some of these as well, to be honest. Take that out. I mean, yes. this. Remember, I need to really sort out my inventory. Okay, where do we need to go now then? It looks like if I go here, I can go to different locations, so... Probably we need to look around here a bit more, see what we can find. I think we can speed it up a bit as well. Yeah, these... My geezers are doing so much damage now, they just... Uh, maybe it was this physical to lightning damage uh, or something, but... Yeah, appreciate the feedback on that. Oh, hang on, an item dropped there. Oh, no. So, let's look around. And not before. Oh, what's this? Cathedral rooftop. Have we been there? I don't know. I don't think we've been up here. Have we? Or is this where we came from? Oh, like Diablo. El Diablo. Yeah, see, like my minions are just doing most of the damage for me. I'm not doing anything. Love it. Getting stronger though. They're not dying as uh, as fast. of uh, minions here. This is the thing I do like about this game is there is a lot of mob density in it and I think that's what a lot of the RPGs that I tried playing like after Diablo 2 they just they didn't have that like big mob density that uh, Path of Exile has and um, you know like uh, Lost Ark I believe yeah Lost Ark for example uh, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I played a decent amount of that game. I can't remember what level I got to or anything, but I didn't ever experience like a lot of mob density in that game. It was very much like there was packs of mobs and you'd just have to like, you know, fight them like pack by pack and it, it felt very mm, slow sort of thing. Like the combat was good. Don't get me wrong. I really like the part uh, the Lost Ark combat. Oh, getting a bit of lag there, FPS drops. Um, but uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I, I just prefer very much these kind of, you know, just loads of mobs that you can plow through. Uh, it just feels so much better, it makes you feel like a, a bit of a boss, you know? Cathedral Apex. Kill it oh gosh oh my god what the hell oh it's that geezer from the he's the dude oh what's this um from the login screen oh okay what is happening here oh is that it no that surely is not it oh wow okay jeez this is like attack on titan or something now what is going on here that is a cool boss. It's like, um... Oh shit. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit, shit, shit. Oh my good Christ. Oh my god. That was too, too close for comfort. Holy mackerel fish. That was too close. My heart went into my sleeve then. That was... I don't know if that's even the right saying. That isn't the right use of that saying. It's, uh, my heart dropped into something. It's these, like, weird things. Okay, I think we're doing okay now. We're good, we're good, don't worry. 
have to not get hit by the red, the black red stuff. Okay, just pay more attention now. Oh, oh god, say that and then get hit by something. How was I meant to know that it was going to go that? Not uh, understandable. Well, look at him now. It's like freaking Diablo now. Oh god. Wow. The flame of hope may flicker, but it cannot be extinguished. What happened? Defeat these act bosses. That was that was close, guys. That was too close. I like the way when I look down, it looks like I've got eyebrows here. They're actually uh, my glasses. There is no shame in falling to a god. Shame lies only in refusing to rise again. You shall soar. That I shall soar. That's all I need to know. But holy crap, that guy did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That was too close. Too, too close indeed. I don't know if I want to go back up to that uh, rooftop now. Put him up there. Who's Lily Roth? I'm Captain Lily Roth, and we sail for Rayclast. Better to live in exile than die on this psychotic bonfire of an island. You want to make it out of here? You better get on board. But make okay. it quick, because I ain't got time for tea. So what? Time and tide wait for Is that the end then? I, I like restart the act now, do I, or something? So I've still got quests here. Maybe I should finish the quest here before I travel to Ray Class. I don't know if traveling to Ray Class is like a kind of final, you know, like um, in Diablo, for example, when you finish normal, you go back to Act One and start Nightmare. And I've got a feeling maybe that's what this is. So maybe I should finish the quest here first before I travel to Ray Class because yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. Honestly, I didn't really look into that, but. Let's, uh, let's just see what we can do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, where are we going? Let's go this way. That was crazy how close I was to death then. I did not understand those mechanics really. Like, where he would, you know, attack the ground sort of thing. I didn't really get it. To try and learn that again. Maybe I'll. I, I kind of like want to attempt it again, but I, I think maybe I should level up and then reattempt it. Not, not to risk it so much. Okay, this way maybe. Ah, oh, there's somewhere there. Porch corpse. No, we went there. Seems that's everywhere I can go, or maybe not. Maybe I should go back there. Uh, let's go to Torch Courts again. Is this like the town, this Torch Courts? Oh, one sec, I need to move it into the center of my screen. like proper concentrating now because I came so close to dying that I don't want to don't want to lose concentration and suddenly get wiped out you know cool music as well obviously game has rocking music to be fair I'm not gonna pick that up got some ops got some ops okay. 
Oh, look at these pieces. Okay. I'll have to see uh, what's going on with, like, uh, Diablo 4 as well, because um, I noticed there was uh, a lot of leaks from the people who have Diablo 4. Well, not a lot, but there was like leaks of like the character creation screen and some like customization stuff and everything. But yeah, I'd be interested to see what's uh, happening with that. Don't think it's on YouTube. I think Blizzard took that stuff down. But uh, do a Lake of Calandra. I'm a bit scared to be honest. But YOLO. Um. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see going on with that game because, uh, I'm not sure how far along in development they are or anything in that. Probably not far, but still be interested to see what direction they're taking with it. Because the BlizzCon demo, when it was first announced, looked quite promising. It kind of looked like, uh, very similar to Path of Exile 2 trailer, like the, sort of the graphics set that they went with and the sort of animations and everything so be interesting to see okay, this way That's a big old beast. I'm here, little beast. What we got here? Nothing much, nothing much. Okay, this way. North. Oh, this is the Shrine Island. Hmm, that guy's strong. Oh. These ones are a lot stronger. Oh, they're dropping a lot of essences. Don't know if they're any good. I'm not really using essences very much, to be honest. And uh, with these videos, I'm going to try and keep them around an hour at most, uh, if I can, because I feel an hour is like a good amount of time where it's like doesn't drag on too much kind of thing whoa 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 whoa, whoa. holy crap they've just wiped out all my freaking zombies um i need to resummon three four five is uh, a bit unexpected Oh my god. They like eat through your health barrier thing. I'm doing freaking meat spinning at me. Oh, it's those demon ladies. I like them. The wind spoke of your approach. Oh, what are these? The 
the wind speak of my approach, did it? That's lovely. Lovely jubbly. This. Okay, quick. I am the one who watches. I observe from afar as flowers oh, blossom. Superior Sekhem. As trees shoot skyward. I've seen something like that before. And as whole animal breeds populate and change. What's that they are growing smarter. In Go to the cold resistance. That thirty-two percent cold damage. Thirty-two and guns. Lightning damage. They will understand. Be nice. To be alive. And they will That's, wonder uh, they are. Very equipping this one sec. Oh wait, it's not a two-handed thing, is it? More than that. Scepter? Two I hand, one hand? No, it's two, one. I will spin. Oh my god, my damage goes up. No. Look. Damage per second, 78. Damage per second, 184. 63. What else have we got? 100. Total combined damage. Uh Checking all the sort of jumps. It seems like everything is majorly jumped with that, so that's good. That see, that was worth it. That was a good that was a good leak. What we got here? Uh 39 max energy shield, lose 2.2 life, 5%. That was good. That was good. Uh get out of there. Wasn't a bait a uh, bad lake. And a level up as well. Okay, let's uh level up. Which way are we going now? I guess over here. Uh let me just have a look. Yeah, we're going this way. And the next stop for us will be down here. Constitution. Okay, cool. Know where I'm going. When I'm ready and not before. When I'm ready and not before. I need more mana. Huh? And that bow had lots of sockets on it. Oh, it's that geezer again. Oh my god, Jesus, the damage. <laughs> Don't walk into the big flames. That's, uh... No, I should know that from playing World of Warcraft. Don't stand in the fire. I saw, uh... I don't know if it's actually out yet, but, um... Graph Classic. I saw, uh, there was, like, a video on my YouTube about some people, I don't know if they were like beta testing it or if it's actually live. Like part of me wants to play it, but there's a big part of me that doesn't because of just the time investment into WoW. Like I know obviously, you know, Path of Exile has quite a big time investment as well to be fair, but uh, not as bad as WoW to be fair. If you want to be top end, it depends what you want to do I guess, but you know, it's mostly just the I used to really like raiding, but now it's just hard to dedicate that many hours to, you know, raiding, like, and it doesn't feel... When you're doing a raid, you want to keep progressing and progressing sort of thing, and you need to dedicate a lot of time into it. That's why I don't necessarily play WoW too much anymore, just because I don't like dedicating that amount of time that I used to. You know, back, back in the day, it was just like, you know, when I, you know, didn't have any anything better to do, it was just like sit up in my room, order pizza, just you know, sit there with like you know, Coke and a bottle of Coke, Seven Up, whatever. I didn't used to drink a lot actually uh, on my own in Ireland, uh, but um, I used to eat a lot. That's for sure. Chamber of Innocence. Have we been there? I don't even know where we're going. I'm sorry guys, you're, you're watching me run around here like a bit of a headless goose, but let's see. Where do we need to go? The cathedral rooftop, apparently. So we need to go to cathedral rooftop. 
and okay it's just telling me to travel to raid class so maybe we should but i want to go this place here uh, and also i think i need to solve this labyrinth as well but i don't know where to do that things feast okay let's do this we're gonna find it i think we need to head like this way a bit past all these geezers so they're not watching me just I don't know run around in circles yeah. Ooh. I do like those sounds when those items drop it sounds like quite epic isn't it? I need more mana yes you do need to get you some more mana, don't we? Can't have you running out of mana. It's not good for business. Okay, let's see. Where are we going on the old maparoonie? I was uh, quite tempted to play some Rust recently as well, because uh, I, I know Rust went through a lot of changes recently and they've added like crosshair and stuff uh, and they redid all the uh, the recoil on all the guns and everything which is good because those recoil patterns were insane to learn I don't know if they're still insane but yeah we'll see okay let's just shove one of these um, but yeah the, the trouble with Rust is that I'm very very cautious I'm not someone who goes out and you know goes raiding or tries to raid or really even engage in pvp at all i'm just one of these people who constructs a base farms for the base and you know gets some guns and maybe goes and does some like you know uh some of the puzzles on the map like you can get these key cards and you go do like puzzles to get better items and stuff and honestly, I just love making the bases. Like, I don't know, some satisfying about it. Maybe this is it. Yeah, travel to the reliquary. So here we go. Find Kit Tavanas. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Having a cheeky drinky poos there. I like this, they're like all ghostly kind of guys. Oh, what are those things? The gem's leveling up. Nice. When I'm ready and not before. When I'm ready and not before. This is cool. I've ne never got this far before in POE, and I, I really like this this level. I don't know why. This act, I should say. Sorry, not level. Well, this map. This map as well. I like. I don't know. I, I like the uh, the death animations on these geezers when they die. They have like that. Nice. I don't know. It just feels good. This is a feel good act. Wasn't a fan of that boss too much. That scared the living bejeebus out of me, but... Um, yeah, as long as we don't have to almost die again, that would be fantastic. Uh, we need to deposit some of this, this stuff. Quickly go back. Deposit the old stuff. Uh, now, let's sell some stuff first. Also, if anyone knows the hotkey that I don't have to keep right-clicking on each scroll. What is that? It's a ring with a socket. I didn't even know you could get rings with sockets. Um, that would be fantastic if you let me know in the comments what the keybind is to identify stuff 
multiple times rather than just one by one. Okay, let's deposit all the regents first. Cool. Oh god, I'm out of space. I need to figure out which are best there. I need to delete some gear. Maybe let's just delete some... Maybe we can put some in here for now. These life flasks, I don't think I need. Let's see. No, good. Keep that bow, though. Uh, let's see. Get rid of... Not really got anything going for it, is it? Oops. Uh, oh! My god, I'm a poppadom. I just clicked escape. What am I doing? Seriously. I am such a, a plompous pomp sometimes, you know? One second. I'm just gonna try changing the lighting. One second. I think that that one was like too too orangey, maybe? That's way too orange. Hmm. Maybe just a bit darker. I think that looks a bit more Ah, that's better I think. Looks a bit more natural now, not as orange. Okay, um, oh my god, I've still got the bow in my hand. Okay. Without Hello. logging out this time, let's sell that and sell all of these. Uh, keep that. Keep that Full gloves freedom. as well, that could be good. Okay, so keep, keep, keep. What's that? What's this? Sanctified Life Flask. Uh, what's it so? Got a lot of stuff. I might keep that. Maybe that's like the next level of Life Flask I need to use. Uh, let's get rid of some belts. Put you in there. Oh wait. Dash tab with the Flask of Affinity it does not have enough. Ah, I see. Right, that's fine. Uh, and you know what, we'll get rid of that, keep that, keep those rings for now. And what I'll do is, um, I will go through all my items Freedom off stream because I don't want to waste time just going Freedom. through it all while recording. Okay, cool. So, now where was I don't know. innocent talk to him, talk to her. So now we need to go back to the Reliquary. We need to finish that because we kind of buggered that up a bit by logging out. Okay. Whoa. Lots of skeletons. Life is All too precious to waste on you. Okay, let's go, let's go. There's a quest there, so I think that's probably what we're after. To replace the feast of birds that Kitava had greedily consumed, Tukohama, our father of war, and Valako, father of storm, went fishing. Although Kitava was blind, he could still cast his line and feel when a fish took his bait. So, Tukohama and Valakor took him with them on Tukohama's mighty canoe. But while they fished, Kitava grew hungry and secretly ate all of their bait of grubs and worms. Disgusted and angry, Tukohama and Valakor decided to use Kitava as bait instead. Valakor used his own jawbone as a hook impaled Kitava on it and cast both into the sea. Kitava sank to the bottom of the sea, but instead of the fish eating Kitava, it was Kitava who ate all of the fish that nibbled at him, flesh, scales, guts and all. When Tukohama and Valako hauled a fat-bellied Kitava back up from the sea, 
They were even more furious and knew that Kitsaba must be punished. Arohomui, daughter of the moon. Sorry, I'm going to stop him from talking. Uh, I just thought it would be interesting to listen, but he is rambling on a little bit for my liking. Um, but anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I do realise with that mirrored tablet, I completely just buggered up that because I moved the entrance to the wrong spot. So apologies, I wasn't paying any attention there whatsoever. And yeah, please forgive me for my actions. Please forgive me. Please. I don't know if there's anything else to do in here, but I'm just kind of clearing it for the hell of it, really. What are these little things? I can't even make out. They're like little floating heads or something. Oh wait, I'm going north again. Also, I need to figure out, uh, probably I'll Google it or someone can let me know in the comments if uh, where the rest of those trials are you know like because I believe I, I think I was watching like a, a guide video and it said that if you complete those trials that you get a like um, more resistances or something um, so yeah I'm I'm pretty sure I should complete them before I potentially restart the act, if that makes sense, so... Yeah. I don't need to look into that, but then again, we're almost probably nearing it an hour for the stream, so... Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, 51 minutes, so I want to try and keep it around an hour. But let's see if we can figure out anything else in this place and if not we will uh right no okay so it looks like i did all of that so let's go back i believe that's that quest done book of skill thank you very much what we like we do like a good book of skill and along there. Okay, travel to the ruined square. Kill Utula. Okay. That's the ruins. That's the ruined square. So Utula must be here somewhere. Not sure where, but. Hey. But I'm hoping that if. I go to the next act, so like nightmare mode or whatever it's referred to in Path of Exile, that I can come back to this act and finish up these, uh, what you call them, uh, sort of ascendancy trial things that I need to do. Where's this Utula guy? Where are we going to find him? around not that way not that way not that way either mm-hmm Dead ends everywhere, my dudes. Ah, oh, this looks like where he'd be. Scenery's changed slightly, it's more. Only slightly. That's not him there shooting all these arrows, is it? No. I need more mana. Oh here, this is gotta be it. Yeah, there he is. No, nope, that's not, that's an effigy. Okay. Do another one. 
Another of these. Here, but I'm not seeing this Utrilla. Where are you hiding, dude? Show yourself. Where is this geezer? Where are you? I would have thought he'd be around here somewhere. Like here, in this location. Rooftop again, don't want to go there. Hmm. Oh, to be around here. Gotta find Jason. Jason. Can anyone just push X for Jason, please? We need to find Jason right now. Jason. 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 If you don't know what I'm talking about, just YouTube. Press X to Jason. Or gotta find Jason. You'll soon figure out what I'm chatting. Okay, where are you? Ah, wait, wait, wait. That geezer. No? That him? No, that wasn't him. He looked like a boss, but he was not. Here is he. He's like hide and seek championship. 2022. What about down here? No. Of course not. Why would he be down there? Be across here. No, nope, of course not. Why would he be there? Don't make me YouTube this, please. I ain't got time. Hey, also, don't mind if I do. I need more mana. Oh. So we've pretty much explored the entire map. He's not there. Where are we missing? Anything here? Nope. When I'm ready and not before. Travel to the ruin square. Okay, I'm in the ruin square. Where? Where, oh where, in the ruin square must I travel to kill Utula? In this corner. I haven't been in this corner. Anything? No. Is he, is he just going to be in one of these little blind spots that I haven't been yet? No. Right down here. Here, maybe? This guy's like rustling my jimmies a bit. Why is he so good at hiding? 
here. He's got to be here. This is the only place I haven't explored. Yeah, here we go. There's some stuff here. Look. Did you think there he is. Oh, he looks you. cool. Oh no, it has only begun. Wow, he died like instantly. But he did some damage. Like, he only got one hit on me, and it did a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Hey, okay, so I believe that's it. There's a hideout here I can get. Get the hideout. Level up. Don't mind if I do. Play them all. So, travel to the cathedral rooftop, talk in town for your reward. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So, is that that done? Hello. The high pre. Ooh, what's this? Poacher's aim, warlord's reach, lesson's haste. Hmm. say that one probably I'm just going to take it in before it's completely wrong choice but oh well Good luck I will there. deal with my choice freedom comes to those who fight okay so what we've got here now we've just got travel to the cathedral rooftop which is that last section uh, place some stuff here yes freedom comes to Remember, we do this for freedom. 700 mana, 500. For now, Greetings. I'll redo all the potions later. Chaos resistance, that could be good because I've got no, I've got really low chaos Remember, resistance. We do this for freedom. I'll keep that. You in there. Greetings. Okay, um. For freedom. You know what? You know what, guys? Um, we're going to just jump here. But also, I am going to just trigger this next act, I believe. The Ravenous God. Begin part two. I'm just very concerned because I, I really think I need to do this Lord's Labyrinth thing. But I've missed, missed some, obviously. Um... I tell you what, let's play it safe. It's been an hour, so we'll end this one here. And I will research into the uh, the Lord's Labyrinth thing. And we'll figure out exactly just make life uh, what we need to do to do this thing before I trigger Act 2. And also, we should probably do... Maybe this last quest, and there someone mentioned the library quest here, but I might have done that already. Not sure. But either way, we're going to look into it, going to do a bit of offline research, and uh, yeah, let's see what's going on. But so far, really, really enjoying Path of Exile. I think it's an awesome, awesome game, and uh, I just hope that. The developers kind of address the sort of underlying issues that everyone has with it at the moment but apart from that let's keep let's keep rocking it let's keep going so thank you very much for watching and uh chat to you next time much love much love see you later.